Sometimes, when we look at a company, there can appear to be more than one face that fronts it. Occasionally, these are not the beneficial owners. So I think to myself, well, who is the actual beneficial owner? And how can I find out about them? In today's video, we will be taking a look at what is a beneficial owner and how to identify who is really behind a company. Hello and welcome to another KYC Lookup video where we bring you AML related content to help you enhance your knowledge in the fight against money laundering. Before diving into today's video, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. Oh, and don't forget to leave us a comment with any suggested topics you would like us to cover in the future. Who is beneficial owner? A beneficial owner is a legal term where specific property rights in equity belong to a person. A beneficial owner is an individual who ultimately owns or controls more than 25% of a company's shares or voting rights, or who otherwise exercise control over the company or its management. For example, John Smith started his own fintech company 12 months ago. He has no investors and therefore he owns 100% of the equity. As a second example, Davy Jones is starting a new company and has partnered up with an investor. Davy owns 50% of the equity alongside his investor who also owns 50%. In the first example, John Smith will be the ultimate beneficial owner. In the second example, Davy and the investor will be seen as ultimate beneficial owners. These are just two straightforward examples of ultimate beneficial ownership. However, it is worth pointing out that as a company gets bigger via mergers and acquisitions, so does the ownership structure, making them more complex and in some cases multi-layered with company after company involved in the structure, making it harder to determine who exactly is the beneficial owner. Why establish the beneficial owners at onboarding? The reason it is required to establish the beneficial owners of your customers is to comply with the AML rules and regulations in the respective countries you operate. Anti-corruption, sanctions and anti-money laundering requirements dictate that you need to collect and analyse such information as part of your due diligence. But with AML regulations aside, it is to protect you as a service provider being exposed directly or indirectly for illicit funds which may proceed from illegal activity. Identifying the beneficial ownership gives you peace of mind that you know who your customer is, which will then help to establish a much stronger relationship. How to set the threshold required for beneficial ownership. Although most financial institutions apply a 25% equity within a company to be highlighted as a beneficial owner, there is actually no rule of thumb to always apply this control in such way. Most AML rules and regulations highlight the importance of applying a risk-based approach where the financial institution or company performing the diligence will take an approach to beneficial ownership based on the risk presented by the customer. So the result can be low and medium risk rated customers having to provide beneficial ownership information at 25% and a high risk rated customer providing the same information at a 10% and even 5% in some cases. Overall, the idea behind beneficial ownership is relatively simple. To identify who is really benefiting behind such companies, whether it's one person, a family or a group of investors, it is vital as part of the onboarding process to know who ultimately owns the entity being worked on. Documentation used to identify the beneficial ownership. Acceptable documentation varies on the entity type as well as the country where the entity is being KYC'd. However, below we have listed some of the most commonly used documents. Audited financial statements. Annual returns. Certified ownership structures. Ownership certificate. Trust deed and Certificate of Good Standing. Well, there you have it. What is beneficial ownership and the documentation used to establish it. Keep a lookout for our future video on the publicly traded companies who don't have ultimate beneficial owners, but instead have significant controllers. Please 
please tell us in the comments section what beneficial ownership means to you or what other sources you normally use to establish it. Thank you for watching the video and if you made it this far, don't forget to like and subscribe to watch more amazing videos.